baraka sataya baruko babaka sataya braga dega sataya brago fusoto raka sataya maka sataya brago fusitara boto basataya bako sikataya o maga dega zato raba dega sikia o roko babaka zeke te baruko sataya o raka baze kita baso vuto busataya buko sataya buke sia o jenda lamba do fusika tale bohuru kusia o jeke te balava kusa tera bohuru kusutu rakasia e janda lamba do kuzeke seke sete la bohuru kusutu rakasia a makasa te la baruku baba baba bakista la buku turu kuseke tila o roku zeke te buseke sete la bohuru kusutu rabaseke a ya madu buseke te la bohuru rakasa taya bohuru kusutu rabasaka ya kasataya e mazika tamba zuba da bazuka tamba sika tara bahuru ka baba baba e shataya baku sataya baku ka baba suta lebra kufu sia ora kaza kita basa futa basika taya e mazaka tale broku busa tale bahuru ku sekita la bahaya jega de basuta le kura ka maziba tu basia ajanda le batu busike sike sike tela bahuru ku sika taya ora baba baba kista la broku vu setia e jetale bahuru ku bobo bobo setela bahura ka baba yes lord thank you thank you for total deliverance total deliverance total deliverance from every addiction from every addiction from every addiction total deliverance from every addiction from every addiction all kinds of addictions thank you for people for your people being set free from all kinds of addictions makaruk sheketana bakuvazia e mashataru kuzekita all kinds of oppression thank you for freedom from all kinds of oppression freedom from all kinds of oppression freedom from all kinds of oppression i declare your liberty i declare your liberty i declare your liberty i declare your liberty in the name of jesus in the name of jesus makaroku sataya oza badaba zega de bakura kasaka ya bahaya o shataya bando vuze kita bato busa taye bakuruku sia o shanda lamba kuva zega de basura kabaye kusataya Ora ka baba baba kuru kuru ku sakaya baya o shataya baruku zeketi baru vo sakaya o jatana zete zekete brago vo zakia ora ka baba baba zegede brago vo soto roku sia e jatala bahaya sikia thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus yeah yeah thank you lord jesus glory be to god glory be to god hallelujah All right now we're going to we're going to we're going to pray for new cars and new homes and the Lord just spoke something to me about this I want to show you something all right uh if you go with me to uh 2 Corinthians check on 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and 8 uh the Lord just showed me something I want to I want to share with you here all right 2 Corinthians we're going to pray all right concerning the cars and the homes all right we're going to do it a bit differently because your faith is very important and, and and you don't want to keep asking God for the same thing but there's a way to do it second corinthians 9 and verse 8 it says and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things the lord just spoke to me the lord just said to me cars and homes are essentials hallelujah cars and homes are essentials now i i know there's also a luxury dimension to it but everyone should have a car Every believer should have a car. Every believer should have their, their home, and not just a home. Every believer should own their own homes. Hallelujah. So this is essential. Now there's a luxury aspect to it, which is okay, all right? But first things first. This I want you to understand that if you don't have a car, God God's God's plan is to get a car across to you. All right? You don't have a, a house that is yours. God's plan is to get a house across to you. The essentials. All right, let me read the amplified version. I love the amplified. In this the way it translates this is this verse, verse 8. It says and God is able to make all grace, every favor, an earthly blessing. See? 
all right so earthly blessings included come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnish an abundance for every good work and charitable donation. So the certain things that God considers essential. You want to get up and you want to go somewhere. You don't have to call someone to give you a ride. You don't have to start. You can get in your own car and drive yourself. Hallelujah. That's essential. All right. And then you have a, you're, you're looking for a place to stay, to stay. You have a place where you can go and sleep and you're not even having to pay rent. Paying rent is okay, but that's not God's best. All right, so we're going to believe God. We're going to believe God, and God, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. That you're going to get your own car, and you're going to get your own house. Hallelujah! It's going to be yours. Hallelujah! You're going to. You, and those of you who are who are who have uh, mortgage payments, that God will will bless you in such a way you're able to pay off, pay off your car, pay off your your house. Amen. Glory to God. And that's important. That's important. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name, yeah, just one more thing I want to show you. Go, go to Mark, Mark 11, Mark 11 and 23. Sorry, Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 24. And it says, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. I'm going to pray about these things. Hallelujah. All right. Now you may already have cars and you may already have you know, a house. You may have a car, you may have a house, but you feel led that you need to maybe get a better car. It's still part of the same flow. All right. If your car is not working like it should work and you believe you should get a better car, then get a better car. All right. Pastor, what about the type of car? That's up to you. That's up, that's up to your faith. That's up to your faith. God is not, God is not intimidated by your faith. All right? If you, have, if you have a Rolls Royce faith, so be it. It's a car. As far as God is concerned, it's a car. Your faith is what matters now. All right? What if I have a house and I want a better house? It's still part of the flow. God wants those things to be removed. Those things are no longer distractions and you can focus. Glory to God, oh, Jesus. So we're going to ask God, we're going to pray, and we're going to thank Him. And we're going to thank Him in the Spirit. Glory to God. Father, we give you thanks. We ask, oh Lord, Lord, I ask that everyone, everyone who needs a car, that that supply comes through in the name of Jesus. Even those who have but need more or need a better type or better types, Lord, let the supply come through. Lord, concerning homes, Lord, Lord, those who, who, have, who have been trusting you, to, to have their own house. Lord, let the supply come through. Those who already have, but, but have a sense that they need another one and they're trying to make an investment, it's still part of the same flow. Lord, let the supply come through. Let new cars come. Let new homes come. Let them begin to come through. Angels, go forth and begin to bring these things. New cars and new homes. New cars and new homes. For God's people, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And then we believe we receive it now. We believe we receive it now in the name of Jesus. We, we, we thank you for the supply. We don't care what the avenue is, Lord. We just know that you're our source. However you choose to bring it, Lord, we thank you. We just receive from you. We just receive from you. Okay. Okay, Lord, I'll do that. Listen, the Lord just spoke to me. Some of you, you have what I call a general faith. Any kind is okay. That's what you're going to get, all right? God will give you the best based on your faith but some of you actually have some things in mind and that's okay too all right so some of you not everybody but some of you are prompted because there's a more specific design in your heart you may need to write some things out maybe there's a particular place right there's a particular place you would like to have a house all right there's a particular place the lord has put in your heart you see it's more like, it's more about what God has led you. There's a particular place the Lord has put in your heart that you should believe for a house. 
Hallelujah. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So that kind of thing, if it's, a, if it's in your heart already, if it's in your heart, then you need to write it down. Because you need to, that, that means if it's in your heart, you need to get more specific. If it's in your heart, you need to get more specific. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of being specific with God. When God begins to lead you in a certain direction. He might lead you to do some other things, other things you may need to do, but that's okay. It's still, it's still in line with that particular flow of the Spirit. Hallelujah. It might lead you to sow. It might lead you to meet people. It might lead you to just step out in faith and just go and just do certain things. That's okay. You follow the leading of the Spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> Rika zuka sika lambra gufosia jagadama zuva dia o jagadabra gufosia jagadamra gufosuto raka zekia o shatala baya o shataya makusata o shataya makasata o shataya baroko sekete o shataya baroko bazekete baroko zia o shataya balavruto a shataya makasata ya o shataya baroko sekete bragavasakaya o Shata raba roko baba baba, eja talaba loko sataya. Ora kazeke, we receive, Lord, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive in the name of Jesus. We receive maka sataya. Ora kazeke te la bahaya. We receive your supply. We receive your supply of cars and homes. We receive your supply of cars and homes. We receive your supply of cars and homes in a so that we have an abundance for every good work. Hallelujah. Some of you are going to get a lot more than what you're thinking because God wants you to have enough, all right? But he also wants you to start to give out, start to give on that level. Imagine that God blesses you to the point where you're able to start giving out at that level, giving out cash. Hallelujah. That's amazing. I know right now, looking back in my own life, I've you know, I've given out, I've given out about almost 14 cars, you know, and it just started with, you, you give the first one and then you move on, then God blesses you. Next thing you know, you, got, got, you give another one out and I've, and I've done that, all right, over the years. And God keeps blessing me, hallelujah. So you find that God can bless you to the point where you're able to give things out, hallelujah. You have an abundance for every good work. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. I thank you for your supply. I thank you for your abundant supply. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for nice cars for your people. Nice, nice, comfortable cars for your people. Not a car that will bring sorrow. No, 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 no. But a car that will be comfortable. A car that will aid the grace on their lives. Thank you for such cars. Thank you for nice homes for your people. Nice homes. The best homes in the town belong to your people. The best homes in the town belong to your people. So I thank you, Lord, that you orchestrate that delivery mechanism, that you orchestrate that supply of the Spirit so that your people have the nicest cars and the nicest homes. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We thank you for it. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's, um, let's, let's go to Psalm 91 as we close. Psalm 91 verse 1. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Be expectant, guys. Be expectant. God is coming through for you. Be expectant. Your faith is important. Your hope. Your expectation. Psalm 91, all right? Um, this is actually not a prayer. It's a confession. Of faith, so I'm, I just adjust it because we're, we're we're living on the other side of the cross. So we're, our confession is more complete. All right, so you just follow me. 
Say, Lord, I thank you because I dwell in your secret place. I abide under your shadow. You are my refuge and my fortress. In you alone, I have put my trust. Surely, you deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the, the perilous pestilence. You cover me with your feathers. Under your wings, I have taken refuge. Your truth is my shield and my buckler. I'm not afraid of the terror by night. I'm not afraid of the arrow that flies by day. I'm not afraid of the pestilence that walks in darkness. I'm not afraid of, of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked. Because I've made you, O Lord, my refuge, even the most high, my dwelling place, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling, for you give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, I trample on the foot. Because I've set my love upon you, therefore you always deliver me. You have set me on high because I have known the name of of Jesus I call upon you and you always answer me you are always with me even in times of trouble you deliver me and you honor me with long life you satisfy me and show me all the benefits all the dimensions of salvation no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for perfect health in my body. Thank you for perfect health in my body and soundness of mind. Thank you. Thank you for the cars, the new cars and the new houses, new homes. Thank you, I receive them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for liberty, freedom, from every oppression, from every addiction, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, wonderful, praise the Lord, glory to his name. Yes, you will be, ex be expected, okay? This week, expect, this weekend rather, expect the supernatural. God will come through for you. Yes, he will. Praise the Lord, all right? Well, until we see you again next week, you have a blessed weekend, okay? The Impartation Conference with Brother Keith Moore from Faith Life Church USA is here again. Impartation 2022. This year's conference is tagged from glory to glory. It will be three days of anointed teaching that will surely empower you for greater victories in life. Date Wednesday 6th to Friday 8th July 2022. Time, 5.30 p.m. daily. Venue, the Summit Bible Church Auditorium, Karak District, between Games Village and Prince and Princess Estate, Abuja. Pastor Nathaniel Bassey and 360 Degrees will be ministering in music. Hosts, Pastors Andy and Indidio Sakui. Impartation 2022 with Brother Keith Moore. From glory to glory, come and be equipped, enabled, and positioned for the fullness of the Spirit. Admission is free. Register today at www.impartation2022.com. For inquiries, please call plus 234-817-744-5013. See you there. Hello, I'm Keith Moore. I'd like to invite you to the impartation with Pastors Andrew and Miss Ndidi Osakwe and their great church. Paul the Apostle said that the Lord had counted him faithful, putting him into the ministry, and that he had enabled him for the ministry. I'm believing that in these times uh, together, there will be equipping and enabling of the Spirit. I look forward to seeing you there.